So this little wood shape is an alien ship. I'm gonna turn it over. This is the one that is done. I'm gonna show you some steps on how I did it and then you are going to create your own. You're gonna use the acrylic paints. You can use any colors you want. This paint, just like the canvas painting, this doesn't wash out of your clothes. And so I recommend putting on an art shirt. I have my art shirt on. Um, I recommend covering your table. I'm sitting at an art table, so it's okay if I get paint on it because I already have lots of paint on it. Um, pick your colors. You need a pencil. I have a Sharpie. I'm only using the Sharpie because you're not gonna be able to see the pencil. So I, gave you guys my last spaceship. And so I'm just gonna do this on the back so it's a little messy. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna draw where the top of the little ship goes. So I'm gonna use a Sharpie and I just did like a curvy line. Mine's even a little bit off. I shouldn't have done it upside down. All right, there we go. If you do it in pencil, it won't worry if you mess up. That divides where my driver, who's gonna be, it can be an alien, it can be, you could have a dog driving the ship if you want to. It's like a flying saucer. But I am gonna make mine. I want to do gray on the bottom and I'm gonna do white on the top. You can do any color you want for the bottom or the top. In order to do these, I am gonna fill my brush, the bigger ones, with gray. You wanna make nice big sweeping motions. I'm gonna do an outline right through here. Notice that I run out of paint and I just keep going to keep that line smooth. And then I begin to fill it in. I don't want any lumps in my paint. I wanna spread it so that when I go to blow dry it, I won't have any lumps. The nice thing that I like about painting on a, with acrylic paints, like on a canvas or if you're doing wood, is that if you make a boo-boo, it's just a boo-boo. It doesn't matter, you can always fix it. So I am just gonna go back and forth. I'm gonna get this whole entire thing covered with gray. Now, once I have that all the way on here, it's just full, um, I would want to blow dry. I don't want my gray to mix with my white. And so now that I have this, normally I would blow dry, but I'm gonna show you something. I have some white right here. Uh, technically, I'm gonna need more than one coat. So I would blow dry this, then I'm ready for my second coat. I'm gonna do another coat of gray. This time to make my little spaceship three dimensional looking, I'm gonna use the white and I'm gonna highlight the curves. So I kind of come through and see how I'm doing some white streaks. I use those white streaks instead of it looking like a flat object, I'm adding those highlights. Now be careful because I've got my white in a little container and I am sticking my gray brush in it and I don't want to get it all dirty. So I have a little paper plate. I can mix colors right here on this paper plate. You also have the lids. I will sometimes mix my colors right there in the lids. So as I blend this, so I've got from light to dark, you can blend as much as you want to. This side has a little bit of blue in it, but if you look at it, you can see where I've got my streaks. Okay, once you're done, you have that the way you want it. Make sure if you need a second coat, I definitely need a second coat. Do both of those and then you can go ahead for this top. I'm gonna do it clear because he needs to be able to see out. So whoever your driver is of this flying saucer needs to be able to see out. Go ahead before you come back, you're gonna get your white painted too. So all of whatever your base color is down here, do this white, okay? Turn it off for just a minute. Okay. Maya is still a little bit wet, but yours should be dry before you start um, the next step. One of the things that you need to do is get any, I like that, isn't that disgusting? Get any of the blue or gray and you wanna put, remember how we did the little highlights in here? You're gonna put a little highlight like it's glass. See how I did that? And I'm gonna do it on the other side too. So I make sure when I do like a highlight, I follow the curve of the piece to help make it look more um, like it's three dimensional. Okay, on the back side, I'm gonna flip this around. Inside here is my alien. You again can look at the alien and decide you wanna do one like him. 
you have a worksheet that I put in your kit that it has a bunch of different shapes of aliens. It's like a coloring sheet, but you can also take a look at those and get some ideas for designing your own little outer space creature. If you want to, um, a monkey and a dog both went to space as animals before they sent humans to space. And so if you want a flying saucer that has like a dog or a cat or a monkey or whatever you want, you can use your imagination. So I, again, usually draw when I'm doing this, if I draw with a Sharpie, you can see it better, but you want to use a pencil because you wanna sketch it in. So I, these are like part of the lighting system. I did these blue, I did red dots around it. That was pretty easy. You can do your little dots any way you want to. Um, I did one of these like last summer maybe, and I did a little steering wheel. So if you want some kind of steering wheel, do some kind of steering wheel. Now I'm gonna flip this back around. So what I do, my pretty dry, pretty dry. In almost every animal that I make, you're only gonna see the head and like the top of the body. I generally will start with a circle. And so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna draw a circle. Now, again, if you're looking at your aliens, can you see that? You might not want exactly to have a circle, but it's really easy to draw if you do a circle and then you draw straight down on each side and that's how you're gonna do your body. And then from there, it can be an astronaut. Let's say I wanted it to be an astronaut and he's wearing a spacesuit. For a spacesuit, I would draw another circle right inside my circle. And guess what? I Now I'm gonna make it into a cat, I think. So I can, and this is kind of silly, but I can put a cat ears. It's gonna be a cat flying through space. I might actually have like a tail coming up here. There we go. And then I would want to paint my cat. Once my cat is painted, whatever colors I want it to be, then I blow dry it. And then I would add my eyes, nose, and mouth because you can layer paint. So let's turn this back around. When I drew my alien, I painted him all the way green first. Then after I dried it, I took my brush with red and I gave him a little bread belly. And if you look close, you can see he has freckles on his cheeks and freckles on his arms. Then I took my black and I outlined things. You can also outline with like a Sharpie or paint pen. Paint looks much better, but it's really up to you and what you have around the house. Now, eyeball. There is an eyeball in here. I prefer to paint my own eyeballs. I just didn't because I was demonstrating um, for some kids and I just stuck it on there. So eyeball or eyeballs, you can do two eyeballs, you could do four eyeballs. One of the things I like are the aliens who have like little tentacles and their eyeball is up on the tentacle. I think that is hilarious. So if you wanna do something like that, do something like that. To finish this off and then when you look, I'm gonna kind of tilt it, can you see it sparkly? There is some glitter in your box. If you wanna put glitter anywhere, you can put glitter, but you have to have it dry. If it is wet at all, your glitter is gonna go on there and it's gonna smear it. So you can do glitter on here. You could also do jewels. Maybe it's like the future and everybody lives in space and this just happens to be a really wealthy kitty cat who can talk and drive a flying saucer. And so maybe you wanna put some jewels on there and make it like a bling machine, all right? So have fun doing it. They're awesome to just set on a shelf. If you want it to hang, you can bring it when you bring your plate to me. You can bring this and I will pop a little hanger on there for you. Then you'll have like a little string that you can just hang it from the wall. So hope you had fun.